Hi friends and welcome back to another week of Grace City Preschool Online. I'm so glad that you're here. And this week we're asking the question, what is an idol or what is idolatry? And having an idol means that you love something more than you love God. Wow, okay. So we're gonna read a little bit of the Bible and it's gonna help us learn a little bit more about idolatry. For although they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him, but they became futile in their thinking and their foolish hearts were darkened. They exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worshiped and served the creature rather than the creator. And that's Romans 1, 21 and 25. In the Bible, we see a lot of stories about people having idols and they bow down to these idols and they worship them. And this is so sad because this is a physical way, a way that they're using their body to trust and worship something besides God. Okay, so we know that God is the creator, right? Yes, we talked about that a couple weeks ago. So we wanna put our trust in God. Can you say, my trust in God? That's so awesome. Whenever you put your trust in God, that means that you do not have idols, right? And sometimes we have to do this every day, every week, every month. We have to make sure that we're making our heart in the right place. And we have to say, my trust in God, not in my toys or my friends or my favorite TV show. No, my trust in God. And this is something that you can say to yourself whenever you are maybe thinking that you love something more or trust something more than you trust God the Creator. And remember, last week we talked about how Jesus died on a cross and rose again three days later after living a perfect life. And because Jesus did this for us, whenever we put our trust in something else, we can ask Jesus to forgive us for that, and he does. And then we can say, my trust in God. Let's say that one more time together. Are you ready? My trust in God. Okay, one more time. My trust in God. Awesome. I can't wait to hear about the ways you're putting your trust in God. Have a great week. I'll see you next time.